In celebration of Dying Light the Beast, Teclan is giving us a new bundle that we can claim on the Pilgrim Outpost called the Golden Years Bundle. Now you can get this for free. There are two ways you can get this bundle. First is by completing one of the two games, Dying Light 1 or 2, the campaign just complete it once. And this can work on any platform. Now the second way you can get it is by already owning Dying Light 2 Stay Human. But from here it only works for the Ultimate Edition or the Deluxe Edition. And you have to have had this game before February 22nd of this year, 2024. And in this bundle you get four items. You get the Home at Last Outfit, the Golden Years Paraglider, the EXP Caliber 2.0, and the Descending Death SMG. Now taking a look at the outfit, it's, I mean, it's, you know, it's something. It's nothing too crazy, it's kind of simple. I don't really have much to say about this. It's not, it's not really anything worth talking about, if I'm being honest. Up next is the Paraglider, same thing here. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's nostalgic, I guess, you know, the art. But other than that, it's nothing really special. Now up next we're going to be talking about the Descending Death SMG. Now this SMG has 10 bullets more than the Golden SMG, but the damage is less. Which is kind of disappointing for me because like, if one of the requirements to get, you know, this bundle involves you completing the game, they should give you something better than what you could possibly get. The bullets don't really make up the damage, so it's not really worth using in place of the Golden SMG. And lastly we have the EXP Caliber 2.0. Now the 1.0 you can get from Dying Light 1. And the way you'd get this weapon is by swimming out onto a rock and then pulling the sword out of a dead body. Now it would take a while. You would have to hold on to the collect button for a while before you pull it out. And if you waited for a bit, the body would burn up into ashes and you couldn't get the blueprint from under it. The XP caliber from the first game was amazing. It did a lot of damage at the beginning of the game. It flung your enemies very far, so it was kind of fun to use. But the durability was very, very weak. Like, I think you were only able to get, like, maybe a dozen hits, and that's it. Now, with the Mark II, you don't get the blueprint. You get the weapon itself. And to be honest, this thing is kind of a disappointment. Like, the base damage of this weapon is very weak. And all you get is, like, 4.5% combat XP. A 30% increase in damage when you do a hard swing and when you'd swing this at a group of enemies it wouldn't be like a long sword it wouldn't just it wouldn't cut through all of them it would just stop midway so yeah it's not all that powerful now it does have three mod slots and a slot for a charm but even when i put every single upgrade that i can think of to increase the damage it is still just too weak to use so yeah, that's it for this bundle. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to leave me a like, leave a comment. And if you find yourself coming back to my channel, please do subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. I like to